Hello everyone and welcome to another Baxter Travel Webcast. It's Tuesday, November 29th, and today's webinar will be presented by Karishma Chaufin, Director of Travel Industry Sales at the Oahu Visitors Bureau. Hi Karishma, are you there? I am, aloha. Wonderful, aloha. So hey, I'd just like to let the viewers know uh, before we get started that if you guys have any questions during the presentation, just type them into either the chat box or the Q&A box and they'll be answered during, during a Q&A session at the end. All right, Krishma, so if you'd like to go ahead and share your screen, you can start whenever you're ready. Wonderful, Danielle, and aloha, everybody. We are so excited to be talking to you today all about love on the island of Oahu. So aloha and welcome wherever you're calling in from. And thank you so much for joining us this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you're calling in from. And today we're going to explore Oahu for our romance seekers. And our hope is through the course of this webinar, um, we inspire you to find out what each partner in your romantic couple clients um, truly seeks and how to make these type of vacations extra special with itineraries that exceeds your client's expectations and activities that your clients will enjoy together. Now keep in mind, Oahu welcomes couples, both heterosexual and same-sex celebrating love. Many couples choose Oahu for a vacation getaway or special occasions such as anniversaries, vow renewals, baby moons, and a variety of other special and significant milestone celebrations. And for many, Oahu is a bucket list destination. It is a place that couples dream about sharing for many years. And at some point in their marriage or in a relationship, a couple will take some sort of a romantic vacation. And the romance market can be extremely, an extremely lucrative market for you, the travel agent. And a few key factors to keep in mind about the romance market. Um, clients generally will have a longer booking window. They will tend to have lo an, a longer average length of stay. Um, they will have a higher level of spending than your average leisure traveler. And on Oahu, again, we're very welcoming of our traditional and non-traditional partners and spouses. Now keep in mind, romance means different things to different people, and it's important to segment romance travel into various niches. It's also vital to understand what your clients are seeking in a romantic getaway. Knowing your client will really help you identify the type of romantic getaway they are seeking and help you build these customized itineraries and activity suggestions to help you further establish yourselves and your business as, as travel consultants and travel concierges. And again, talking about the different types of segmentation for your romance clients. You have comfort couples where they're just really looking to relax, um, maybe an active adventure, a combination of a little bit of both. You have your luxury lovers, and these luxury lovers are willing to go over and above um, to get the, what they want. They are looking for those one-off, unusual travel suggestions, and they're really looking for those creature comforts and personal service while on their romantic vacation. Um, to add on to that, you have your adventure seekers. Um, while they're creatures of comfort, and you know they are looking for adventure. They love the outdoors. They have a passion and enthusiasm for new experiences. They're looking for those beautiful, awe-inspiring Instagram moments and tons of off-the-beaten-path options. And then you have your cultural lovers. They place a high priority on the cultural aspect of their romantic getaway and really want to enrich their vacation by visiting our historic sites, museums, culinary experiences, festivals. These are all priorities of our culture lovers. And here on Oahu, the natural beauty, that warm aloha spirit, the authentic Hawaiian culture, 
they create a one-of-a-kind backdrop for all of these different types of romance seekers. They create a one-of-a-kind backdrop for unique weddings and honeymoons, baby moons, and other romantic getaways. The ease of Oahu makes the island such a wonderful um, wedding and honeymoon spot where easy to get to, easy to get around, and easy for planning purposes. And on Oahu, we have a very unique town, beach, and country setting and experiences that provide a plethora of venues and pre and post wedding activities for couples, their guests, and honeymooners. And since most places on Oahu are within a one hour drive or less, navigating the island is absolutely no problem. Transportation options abound with car rentals, private limousines, van services, and bus charters. Extremely, extremely, extremely easy to get around the island. And keep in mind, while all the Hawaiian islands are exceptionally beautiful, only Oahu provides a unique blend of town, country, and beach magic. We provide your romantically inclined travelers with an almost unlimited number of breathtakingly beautiful and totally unique and easily accessible experiences that capture Hawaii's authentic culture and that spirit of aloha. From cosmopolitan Honolulu and Waikiki to the laid back vibe and the scenic wonders of Oahu's North Shore, the windward and leeward coasts, Oahu truly offers your clients all of Hawaii in one incredible island. We are a tropical island with an incredible east, east meets west kaleidoscope of unique outdoor, cultural, and culinary experiences. Again, all infused with that one-of-a-kind Hawaiian spirit and aloha. We are a tropical island getaway like no other. Again, keep in mind the island's plentiful attractions, activities, and environments are all within a one hour drive or less. And for your clients that are coming here for a wedding or a special celebration, whether they want a barefoot beach celebration, a classic church ceremony, maybe they're planning nuptials um, and want a botanical setting or an elaborate resort ballroom, Oahu has it all. The island offers a diverse array of venues and a diverse array of price points to suit every budget. Extraordinary resorts, quiet beaches, we have those magical waterfalls, beautiful secluded private estates, spacious ranches, private yachts, botanical gardens, the list goes on, grand museums, and the only royal palace in the nation are among the many locations for romantic Oahu celebrations. Now, keep in mind, um, we as the Visitor Bureau, we have gotten a lot of inquiries about Zika, the Zika virus. We do not have the Zika virus here on Oahu or on any of our Hawaiian islands. And right after honeymoons, um, cu most couples are planning on starting a family and they're wanting to have their wedding or their honeymoon where they do not risk exposure. And here in the Hawaiian Islands, your romantically inclined clients are completely, completely safe. So keep that in mind when you do get questions as well. Um, so so we're gonna jump right into the meat of this webinar and we're gonna start off by some wonderful excursions that your clients are able to do while on their romantic getaway to Oahu. Iolani Palace is the only official royal residence on US soil. It was built by our beloved King Kalakaua in the 1800s. And this was also the last, um, this was also where our last reigning queen and monarch Queen Liliuokalani was placed under house arrest before the overthrow of the Hawaiian monarchy. Today, the palace has been beautifully and lovingly restored. The rich interior features a gorgeous, beautiful koa wooden staircase, grand staircase. You see dramatic portraits of the Hawaiian royalty, ornate furniture, 
royal gifts and ornaments in the ballroom that you see on your screen. The ballroom is decked in crimson and gold, and there are two royal thrones that stand side by side. These royal thrones are the originals. They have been left unrestored. Today, the royal crown jewels are also on display, and they have wonderful self-guided audio tours in over seven different languages. They also have some incredible guided tours led by the docents um, right at Iolani Palace. And I love the docent-led tours. Um, every time the docent has a new story to share, a new piece of information to share, they're interactive. So I highly recommend the docent tours as well. Quick little insider tip. The Royal Hawaiian Band, which was the King's Band, they are still in existence today. And when the Royal Hawaiian Band is not on tour, they actually perform free concerts on the grounds of Iolani Palace on Friday afternoons during lunchtime. How incredible would it be for your guests to be able to hear the sounds of the Royal Hawaiian Band with the Iolani Palace in the background? definitely go and check out the Royal Hawaiian Band, um, their schedule. And if they're playing during the time your clients will be visiting, maybe suggest that and put it on your clients' itineraries. Another very, very special place that you have to include in your itineraries is the Bernice Powahi Bishop Museum. Now, the museum was founded in 1889 by Charles Reed Bishop, in honor of his late wife, Princess Bernice Pawahi Bishop. And Princess Bernice was the last descendant of the royal Kamehameha family. And the museum initially was established to house the extensive collection of Hawaiian artifacts and royal family heirlooms of the princess. Today, the museum has expanded to include millions of artifacts, documents, and photographs about Hawaii and other Pacific Island cultures. And today, the Bishop Museum is the largest museum in the state of Hawaii, and it is the premier natural and cultural history institution in the Pacific. In fact, we affectionately call it the Smithsonian of the Pacific. What's very exciting for us is that the Bishop Museum just launched their Hawaii Monarchs Tour. Um, I mean, visiting the Bernice Powahi Bishop Museum and Iolani Palace are must-do experiences when visiting Hawaii, when visiting Oahu. And this brand new tour, the Hawaii Monarchs Tour, is a combination tour where your clients get to see Iolani Palace and the Bishop Museum Lunch and transportation and entry to both are um, included. And your guests will step back in time. They will experience Iolani Palace. Again, the only official residential palace in North America and home to Hawaii's last monarch, Queen Liliokalani. The journey begins with captivating stories about the royal residents and how they lived as guests are led through the first floor staterooms and the second floor private quarters. This is a national historic landmark and it's a must see among visitors and locals alike. This place really celebrates a time when their majesties King Kalakaua and his sister and successor Queen Liliokalani walked its celebrated halls. Guests are then transported to the Bishop Museum and upon arrival, they're greeted by a docent. And at the Bishop Museum, guests will travel further back in time and embrace the true spirit of the Hawaiian Islands as they journey through Bishop Museum's exhibits. Here, visitors learn the stories about the trials and the triumphs of Hawaii's ali'i, or the royalty. They then explore Bishop Museum's Hawaiian Hall. Um, it is the number one rated museum again, right here in the Pacific. And the tours are offered weekly on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Again, keep in mind, lunch is included. It includes a docent or a local guide, and hotel pickup and drop-offs are included at select Waikiki hotels. The tours are small, very intimate, and really, really special for your guests to be able to view these two significant places um, where they can really take in our culture and history. 
We're heading now to Oahu South Shore. Of course, Waikiki needing no introduction. The best place, Waikiki Beach, the best place to go learn how to surf, do some stand-up paddle boarding. But what's even more exciting are getting your guests to go out and enjoy an outrigger canoe ride. Now keep in mind, outrigger canoe rides, not only are they fun, your guests are gonna be surfing our waves in Waikiki in these outrigger canoes, but they're also part of our history. The Polynesians migrated over the oceans millennia ago in outrigger canoes. So today, if you incorporate an outrigger canoe ride in your guest tour or itinerary, they are getting to enjoy and have a great time, but also partake in some of our history, um, some of our culture. Now, what's very, very, very exciting is we have a Blue Note Hawaii, a music venue that just opened. It is a new world-class entertainment venue. It is open at the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort that is bringing in international and local music talent. It is a fabulous new jazz bar that we have here the only one in the USA besides New York, and they have two shows every night, world-class talent again that's being brought in. And in fact, this Christmas, we will be having Kenny G performing over the holidays. So please do take, take a look at Blue Note Hawaii's website and get those tickets for your clients or encourage them to purchase their tickets um, if they are interested in some um, holiday entertainment, enjoying the sounds of Kenny G. Now keep in mind, Blue Note Hawaii, again, it's located in Waikiki. It is located at the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. It is a fabulous jazz club and restaurant, a great space that is available to group buyouts and private events as well for your clients that are wanting to plan those special um, events for their romantic getaways or maybe a pre or post um, wedding celebration for their guests. Now over the Outrigger Reef on the beach and the Outrigger Waikiki um, beach, they are offering guests complimentary vow renewal ceremonies. Now these are early morning oceanfront ceremonies. They are wonderful romantic experiences. The ceremonies are island inspired and are non-denominational. They last about 30 minutes. Um, the ceremonies are conducted by a Hawaiian officiant. They feature distinct Hawaiian cultural elements. For example, couples are welcomed with an oli or a Hawaiian chant. They then led to the ocean's edge and the officiant blesses the couple with a gentle sprinkling of ocean water. And then each couple, they get to recite their vows in the Hawaiian language. And the ceremony concludes with the performance of the beautiful Hawaiian wedding song and a very special hula. It's following the ceremony, each couple is presented with a certificate to commemorate their vow renewal. And the Outrigger Waikiki's vow renewal ceremony is held on Monday and Thursdays, while the Outrigger Reefs ceremony is held on Tuesdays and Fridays. And again, vow renewal ceremonies at the Outrigger Hotels, they are offered on a first come first serve basis. Couples can book on the day before or up to three months in advance. I highly recommend they book this in advance. And they usually limit the number of couples that do the vow renewals at a time and family members are welcome. And now heading a little east of Waikiki, just a short drive from Waikiki, the Kahala Hotel and Resort is another quiet oasis with a beautiful oceanfront setting. Couples here at the Kahala can enjoy vow renewal of wedding packages as well. They include an hour long private ceremony on one of the two beautiful oceanfront settings. Many couples here will choose a Hawaiian kahu or a minister who will incorporate, again, traditional island elements such as chanting and the exchanging of fresh flower lei. Very, very special. And at the Kahala Hotel and Resort, couples can customize their ceremonies and add extra touches such as a conch shell blower, hula dancers, and musicians. Another favorite place of mine to go visit, very, very unique, 
is the Bear Estate. Now, the Bear Estate was built in 1936, and it is on the Hawaii Register of Historic Places. It is a beautiful, expansive oceanfront property that is located on the eastern shores of Honolulu in a little charming community of, called Aina Haina. And hosting a wedding or a special event at this charming historic estate is really like welcoming your guests to your seaside, quote unquote, home away from home. The estate is situated along the eastern shoreline of Oahu and is most definitely one of Honolulu's hidden gems. And now a little insider tip, if you are a Hawaii Five-0 fan, and I know there are a lot of you listening in that are, this is definitely for you or for your clients that may be Hawaii Five-0 fans. This beautiful home is also known as Steve McGarrett's house. So put it on the map for your clients if they are planning that special romantic getaway or a special celebration with their friends and family. Now, no webinar of mine is complete without talking about food. We have an incredible culinary scene right here on the island of Oahu. And we're gonna talk a little bit about some romantic dining options when your guests are staying with us in Honolulu. Now, Chef Mavro is one of Hawaii's most prominent chefs. His contemporary Hawaii regional cuisine, um, he is one of the founding members of the Hawaii's farm to table movement. And the restaurant named after him, Chef Mavro, is popular for romantic occasions as well as special gatherings because of the highly personalized service, exceptional food and wine pairings, and flexible menus. This is truly an outstanding dining experience. It's actually Hawaiian French fusion food. Um, the restaurant is also known for its seasonal prefix menus um, featuring four to six courses. And the dinners, again, are all exceptionally paired with wines. Semi-private rooms are available for up to 30 guests and be sure to make reservations. Another very, very special place for your guests to go visit. It is one of our city's premier restaurants since 1995 is Alan Wong's Honolulu. Alan Wong is the co-founder of the Hawaii Regional Cuisine Movement here in Hawaii. He has won James Beard Awards in 1996 for Best Chef. He has appeared on Top Chef. And this restaurant frequently plays host to our foodie president. Um, the menu is inspired by the diverse ethnic cultures found in Hawaii and freshly farmed ingredients from the islands. Again, restaurants are highly recommended for your guests to go enjoy a fabulous meal that they will not regret at Allen Wong's. Now, a very special experience for your guests is maybe doing a dinner cruise right here on the island of Oahu and the Star of Honolulu. They offer their five-star dinner and jazz cruise. This is very romantic. They have great food, wonderful ambiance, live jazz that's performed by Oahu's top performers. And a little insider tip, if your guests do book this tour on Friday, they will see Friday fireworks show from the Hilton Hawaiian Lagoon. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous for your guests to be able to experience as well. So definitely get your guests to go out and experience the Star of Honolulu Jazz Cruise, um, the five-star dinner and jazz cruise. And if they wanted to book a Friday, they are in for a treat with those fireworks. Again, it is ideal for weddings, receptions, vow renewals, and private parties. So we're heading a little more east. We're heading to the windward coast of Oahu, definitely getting into that country vibe. Very lush, very green, just a beautiful side of the island that your guests have to go out and explore without a doubt when they're staying here with us on Oahu. And I highly, highly recommend they go visit Kualoa Private Nature Reserve. Now, Kualoa Private Nature Reserve is over 4,000 acres of breathtaking scenery. 
It is currently a working cattle ranch, but they also have a numerous amount of activities that your guests can enjoy from horseback riding to zip lining to ATV rides and jungle tours. The list goes on. They even have an island called Secret Island, no longer a secret, you know about it now, where you can do a ton of beach activities. Now, Kualoa has also been home to a number of movies that have been filmed right there. So you can do movie tours from Jurassic Park to the latest endorsement of the Jurassic, Jurassic World that just came out. Tons for your guests to experience at Kualoa Ranch. In addition, there are a number of stunning venues for your clients' special occasions. Keep in mind, the holidays are right around the corner. We are getting into engagement season, and Kualoa Ranch has some magical, breathtaking venues again for your guests that may be planning an engagement. How about having them do it right here on Oahu in this magical setting on the Windward Coast at Kualoa Ranch. Now, of course, the North Shore, everyone has to go visit. Stop there. We have two wonderful properties for your guests wanting to stay on Oahu's North Shore. The Turtle Bay Resort, full service resort on Oahu's North Shore, as well as the Courtyard by Marriott. Um, they have a property for your more budget seeking clients um, that's located right next door to the Polynesian Cultural Center. And over at the North Shore for your adventure seeking, romantically inclined clients, the North Shore Eco Tour is a wonderful way for them to really experience a site to Oahu not very many people know exists. North Shore Eco Tour is a fabulous eco tour. Um, the hiking tours present Hawaiian history and cultural traditions. It's run by a gentleman who is a professor at the University of Hawaii cultural studies program and you are really immersed in the myths, the legends, the sense of place when you do this eco tour with the North Shore Eco Tour Company. They take you out in these World War II Pinsgar vehicles. You do some fabulous off-roading. When you get to the end of the trail, you go hiking in some of the most breathtaking sceneries you will ever see on the planet you get to swim in these crystal clear pools and again what's wonderful and what's unique about North Shore Eco Tours they take you on this eco tour and show you the aina or the land through a native perspective fabulous 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 now we all love our spa experiences and the Sullivan Estate and Spa Retreat is on Oahu's North Shore it is our first holistic and anti-stress center on the earth. It is a seven star plus resort. Yes, seven star plus. And guests can enjoy either day spa experiences or they can rent the entire home and enjoy three night spa vacations. This is a definite must do for your clients that are in that Uber luxury market niche. Um, they are offering everything is customized they do customized yoga treatments they'll bring in organic chefs they'll do customized meal plans for you it truly is a one-of-a-kind unique experience unique holistic healing experience for your guests that are looking for something like this right here on the island of Oahu. And still keeping you up on Oahu's North Shore, the Waimea Valley is one of our last partially intact Ahupua'a. Now the Ahupua'a is an ancient Hawaiian land division that goes from the mountains all the way through the ocean. And Waimea Valley is home to a world-class botanical gardens, Hawaiian archeological sites and cultural activities and also home to a stunning 45 foot waterfall that sits all the way at the back of the valley and you can actually swim in this waterfall. It is just breathtaking and very, very significant to visit Waimea Valley. This was also the ancient home the, of our Hawaiian high chiefs and high priests during ancient Hawaiian times. So very, very culturally symbolic and significant to us here on Oahu. Now, 
in Hawaii, we have a 12-month 12 uh, 12 growing season. And what's really unique and really special, a way for your clients to enjoy the flavors of the island is to visit some of our farmer's markets a great way to interact with the locals, a great way to taste some of our local produce, great way to experience some of our local arts and crafts. And over at Waimea Valley, they have a fabulous farmer's market every Thursday afternoon that brings out some of the best local vendors, food crafters, artisans. There is entertainment as well. So definitely put this on your client's list as well. So not only can you enjoy all of these wonderful activities at Waimea Valley, but it is a fabulous place for your guests to enjoy their wedding or their romantic getaway, whether, again, it's a pre or post rehearsal dinner, a post wedding celebration, or a wedding itself. It is quite a breathtaking environment for your guests to enjoy this um, space up at Waimea Valley. So now we're heading to the leeward coast of Oahu, the west side of the island, just a beautiful, beautiful coastline, just a rugged coastline, very different from the north shore, the south shore, or the windward coast. And over on the west side of the island, we have the beautiful Lani Kuhonua, um, which is a fabulous private estate if you have clients that are looking for a non-resort type um, venue. The property is located in the Ko'olina Resort area. It is um, known to be, a, it was actually known to be a tranquil retreat for our Hawaiian chiefs um, way back when. And it said that one of our queens, Queen Ka'ahumanu, who was the favorite wife of King Kamehameha I, bathed in the sacred pools, the three ocean coves that front the property of Lani Kohunua. And this is just a beautiful venue for your guests to experience some authentic beauty, the spirit of Hawaii, and to create that ideal romantic destination um, right on the property. Just beautiful, breathtaking venue for your guests to experience. Now, Paradise Cove Luau, this is definitely a place that you may not think of for a romantic um, celebration for a wedding. It's, of course, known for the Lua, but Paradise Cove at Ko'olina is a destination within a destination. It offers visitors um, the original and authentic experience of our Hawaii. Um, it, the staff, they're extremely knowledgeable and friendly. They will work with you to bring your event vision to life. They will work within your budget to um, ensure your complete satisfaction. And for your clients, um, special ceremonies. They will be surrounded by tropical gardens, blue lagoons, gorgeous rugged coastlines, and majestic mountain ranges. Paradise Cove offers three unique and distinct locations for your client's ceremony, um, from beach locations, again, to the oceanfront lagoons, to beautiful private gardens. Um, this is definitely a spot that you may not have thought of and your clients will really enjoy something very unique um, if they were to have their special celebration at Paradise Cove um, Luau and their event venues at the space. Now, very, very cool, something very unique for your romantically inclined clients to enjoy is maybe going out with a group of marine biologists that are part of the Hawaii Ecotourism Association, a company called Wild Side Tours. Now, Wild Side Tours takes you out, takes your clients out to swim in the open ocean with our Hawaiian spinner dolphins. It is an experience like no other. Your guests will be swimming with this pod of dolphins that return to this one area on the west side of the island every day. They will be swimming with dolphins under them, in front of them, next to them. It is magical, one of the most memorable experiences your clients will have. Once you're done swimming with the dolphins, the team at Wildside take you out to swim with our beautiful, colorful, tropical fish. Um, you get to swim with our green Hawaiian sea turtle or honu. I just took a group of agents out um, 
on the wild side tour last week and guess what we saw we saw whales yes it is whale season and humpback whales are migrating to warmer waters so we saw whales as well beautiful magical experience their tours are very intimate they don't take more than 12 people 12 to 15 people out on the catamaran and the catamaran they'll only do one maybe two charters a day so again very intimate very very special experience for your guests to enjoy now again just a reminder we're coming up on that engagement season and a few special spots that i'd like to point out maybe to just have a picnic propose past time for your clients tantalus lookout is by far the best spot if your client wants to enjoy your view of the entire city of honolulu to get there, you take a romantic drive up Round Top Drive through Oahu's lush tropical rainforest. Once you get to the lookout, you see a view of Leahi, fondly nicknamed Diamond Head, and the entirety of Waikiki and the horizon line to the ocean. This is only 15 minutes away from Waikiki. Over on the eastern shore of Oahu, we have the beautiful Ho'omaluhia Botanical Garden. This is 400 acres of garden that is nestled in the majestic baseline of the Ko'olau Mountains on the windward coast of Oahu. Um, beautiful, beautiful again to go picnic, enjoy leisurely strolls, maybe some hiking and some biking. And then of course, right here in Waikiki, Friday fireworks happen. They are free, um, approximately 7.49 um, p.m. Every, uh, every Friday, weather permitting, of course. Great way for your clients to just sit on the sand, sit under the stars and enjoy these gorgeous fireworks right here in Waikiki. So quick agent tips before we get to our Q&A. To differentiate yourself. Again, it's important to differentiate yourself. Learn what romance means to your clients and craft vacations that experience their expectations. Understand what makes Oahu romantic. Knowing what romance means to your clients and developing itineraries that match each client's passion points. Number three, understand what your guests are seeking in their romantic getaway and plan a unique and enriching vacation experience around their, um, their passion points. You know, number four, how about creating and connecting, how about connecting individually with both partners and help each other surprise one another with a special activity? Um, a day spa treatment, a surf class lesson for two, a private guided tour. Make sure you have each partner's email in order to connect and plan privately. And number five, this is very special, baby moons. Baby moons are becoming exceedingly popular and Oahu is an ideal destination for couples anticipating their first baby who want that last break together before the newest addition joins the family, lovely weather, balmy breezes, warm oceans are perfect for mamas to be. Craft getaways with special indulgences for two that may include a private chef's dinner, maybe a pampering spa treatment for the expectant parents or a romantic sunset dinner cruise. Also, find out what the mommy-to-be's dietary restrictions may be. Maybe research some restaurants prior to the vacation and scan those menus and send them off to your couples. Um, and again, keep in mind, same-sex marriage is legal in Hawaii. And we would love to welcome your LGBT guests to the island as well. And right here on their screen, you have my email address. We have a wonderful travel agent portal, agents.gohawaii.com, where you can continue your education, not only for Oahu, but all of our sister islands as well. They have some fabulous online training modules that are very interactive um, and a great way, once again, to boost your education of Oahu to get your clients coming here. And with that, Danielle, I'd just like to say a big mahalo to all of you at Baxter for hosting our webinar. And I am open to any questions that you may have. Thanks very much, Krishma. That was fantastic.
So we'll allow a couple minutes now for people to type any questions that they may have into either the chat box or the Q&A box, and I can read them out for Karishma here. Okay, here's one. Um, is there a bad weather time to avoid like hurricane season in the Caribbean? You know, um, we, we, knock on wood, we have been extremely lucky. Winter season, um, we do get a little bit more sprinkles and a little bit more rain. But to be honest with you, year round, our weather is gorgeous. Um, we have beautiful weather year round. And winter time, no matter where you're traveling from, from up north, um, we, again, do get that little bit of extra showers, but it clears up and we're good to go. So any time of the year. Oh, that, that's great. That's really good to know. And here we go. And here's one of the, and that popped up in the Q&A box. Uh, Aloha, great webinar. Approximately what are the rates at Sullivan Estate and Spa? Um, great question. Sullivan Estate and Spa, now keep in mind, they customize every program, every experience based on your client's specific needs. Um, I highly recommend visiting the Sullivan Estate and Spa um, website. If you Google them, you will be able to find their website and reach out to them directly via email. Again, they do not post any um, rates on their site because they customize every program, every meal, every requirement um, for your clients. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye on the, uh, the Q&A box and the chat box here, and we'll give it another couple minutes. And just for anyone that might have signed in late, um, this webinar will be up on the Baxter Travel Media YouTube channel, probably by tomorrow, but uh, definitely by Thursday at the latest. And that's Baxter Travel, back, the, the Baxter Travel webcast YouTube channel, but you can also find it just by searching for Baxter Travel Media. Uh, here's another question. Whatever happened to Paradise Park? Is the island being used by someone? Um, that was, you can actually still go and walk through Paradise Park. Um, I believe that is one of our state parks, um, but they, you can't really host events or anything I'm, if that's the question that's being asked. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, and we'll just give another minute. Ah, here's another one. So, so is it better to book flights and hotels separately instead of an all-inclusive? Um, it really depends. A lot of our visitors coming in, they will book their flights and hotels as a package through a tour operator or through a travel agent. Um, obviously, um, it really depends on your clients and the price point that they're working on and the price points that there are out there for various um, tour packages. Um, so I would definitely, if the agent asking the question has a preferred tour operator, look at the options that they have um, available, as well as maybe price out the air and hotel individually and see what works best for your clients. Booking individually will give you a little bit more flexibility um, to work directly with the hotels and the airlines. However, booking with a tour operator, there may be some added benefits, et cetera, that the travel agent may get um, in terms of incentives, et cetera. So you really have to weigh your options out and where are the options for your clients maybe as well. Mm, yeah, definitely. And I do believe that's it for the questions today. So Karishma, I'd like to thank you again for your great presentation today. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Daniel, and happy holidays, everybody. We are coming up on December, and just enjoy this holiday season, and hopefully we'll connect with you all next year for one of our webinars. So aloha, everybody. Mahalo for joining. Definitely. Happy holidays to you too, Krishma, and thanks so much to everyone that attended today. It's much appreciated.